hi everyone welcome to my channel uh, if you're new please kindly subscribe in today's video I will show you how you can install a remote start into this uh, 2010 Toyota Corolla um, my module of car is the base module it's 2010 Toyota Corolla LE and it's US Canada there are other versions like Japan, so um, but for this particular car that I have here is it's the uh, US Canada, and the remote start module I bought it's from uh, my push cart, and I have the Crime Stopper, Cool Start RX G5 module, and as well I got. Um, a key override or bypass module that comes with it and the reason why I need this is because my key is encrypted I have the standard key anyway it's the um, dot it's not the G the dot key not the G so it's also encrypted and how do you know if your car has a immobilizer bypass you can see right here without the key in there it's flashing like uh, the door has a lock this right here or you have it by the dash you know for some cars might be so you need to be able to emulate um, you have to be able to program the key um, the bit in your key into this so that it's gonna start uh, override the key inside so um, that's why and pretty much you're gonna need to get the wiring diagram for your car you have to make sure um, I can't stress that enough you have to get um, the wiring diagram this company provide um, provided me with um, wiring diagram for this car but at the same time I went ahead and did my own research and then draw my wiring diagram to match my car So, like I said, um, I've actually laid out the wiring based on um, how my car um, diagram is. Already laid out everything, and you can see already have labels on where they're gonna connect to. This is the um, key override all. And then this is the remote start itself. So wires that I'm not gonna need already uh, taped them all together. The ones I'm gonna need I already put a sticker on them on how, where they're gonna connect to. I strong, strongly recommend you refer to your specific car wiring diagram. Please do not attempt this if you don't know what you're doing. I just as a disclaimer, I'm not responsible for whatever damage that happened to your car. Please do it at your own expense. Um, if you need professional help, please uh, seek one. Because if you connect any wrong thing, here can easily damage um, your car. So please pay attention to the wiring diagram. Like I said, this is a 2010 Toyota Corolla LE US Canada. This is not Japan. So. The color of the wires are um, kind of different so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna open this side um, this is the switch light switch and this is the ignition side and I'm gonna open this up and open this side also up and I'll show you in a minute so just to get started to open up this guy so first I want to make sure Open this bottom panel, and that's a Philippe screwdriver over there, too. I'll take Philippe screwdriver. Open. Just a quick one. We're going to be drilling these sides to put my um, the programming bolt in an indicator somewhere here. Um, it's hard time to open this guy. 
and to do that I'm gonna need the key I'm gonna get my car key turn in ignition just turn so yeah you see this you're gonna use screwdriver to push it back like this you push it back and there's another one on the other side but I have to turn the wear steering wheel around and I pop these guys open and that's the way I'm gonna see you switch your hand pop a little bit open Just to let you know what I've done, I've connected, I'll make all my connections. Um, this, this is the starter, the black one, starter one. Uh, the green one is um, ignition two. Um, the brown one is ignition one. And the gray one is, um, accessory one and I also have the key sense which is the blue one over here so and on this side I have the the negative um, parking light connected as well so here this is where I got my brake from ah, this is my brake right here I got my brake it's right here and uh, that's all the connections I've done right now and I'm gonna put the module up here and continue with my wiring. All right guys, as you can see, I've done, uh, done with my connections and don't mind how rough it is right now, I'm still gonna clean it up. Uh, I just did um, uh, the complete connection. Um, you can see already the power, it's blinking light and have connected the pk all, all to each other and um also connected the hood switch the hood switch is the gray wire it went straight to the firewall i'm gonna show you where it is and it came out of here that's the firewall over there that's where i poke it through and this is where i have my hood switch so when i close this um drop the hood close the hood it's gonna press and then that's a safety switch that's gonna allow my remote start to kick so uh, this is everything I've done by the ignition side so I'm gonna run through it one time so you understand um, this is the green wire coming from um, this is coming from the key override and this going to my blue which is the key sense wire this is the gray coming from the remote start and then it's also going to the gray wire here and this is my accessory one this is the brown wire and then this is going to the black and this is my starter and this is uh, the pink wire solid pink and the solid pink is my ignition one and it goes to the brown on the Toyota side this is pink and white and this is my ignition two and it goes to the green and um, right here this yellow black wire this yellow black wire this is um, the transmission my car transmission and it goes to the town wire here you can see I have it joined and there's another wire right here um, this purple and white that goes to the blue and that's my cars receiver so this um, transmitter and receiver the vehicle you are told not to use any um, cable jumper or crimper just connect directly that's why you see 
I, I connected them directly. If you look, uh, you have to solder or connect directly. And on this other side, this is my white wire going to the um, my negative parking wire. This is brown on, on the um, headlight switch. And um, yeah, this is my brake wire, the purple one. And I took my brake wire from here. Um, this is, uh, I took my brake wire from here. This is pin number nine and it's connected to the blue. It was very hard for me to get the brake wire by the brake pedal. So I took mine from here and this is the power. This is my power and straight uh, tapping to uh, my constant one volt wire here. As you can see, I already have an entry module, so uh, that is it. So I connected the antenna, and then this is the data wire already connected. So pretty much, I have done um, the programming of the the cool start remote and the PK all. You have to do uh, the programming. It's it's. It's in the uh, manual, you can do it, just follow the step and uh, write the key. So, I'm gonna try this out and then we all see before I clean everything out. So, watch and do it again. Let's see how that is. started trying no problem on the car so now I want to test uh, the brake light so the car is running right now as you can see if I press the brake the car should stop you see it cut it off so that should cut the remote start off once you press the brake and that to happen all you just have to do is to put your key into the ignition and turn it to on while the remote start is still on and that is not going to shut off so uh pretty much i'm done with the whole connection so i am gonna clean this up clean the wire up and then uh one thing i need to show you again so right here i drilled two holes where i'm gonna put my the uh, programming button and then led indicator so they're gonna be somewhere right here and um, when I'm done, I'll test this all over again. All right, so I've been I've been able to find a way to a place to put my uh, remote start somewhere under here. You see that? Hang it right there. And the uh, bypass module is over here. Mobilizing bypass. Uh, I use a couple of zip ties. To whole things together right here and I'll take it and then you gotta be super creative when it comes to this so this is where I install my indicator and then my program button I initially drew a hole here but uh, yeah, there's something at the back that's blocking it so I moved it so I'm just gonna be left one big hole over here well that doesn't matter so I'm gonna run that's my antenna wire I'm gonna see if you can get to somewhere right here screen I'll prefer the middle but if I can't get the middle I'm gonna put it somewhere right here so um I'll finish up everything and show you again all right so now I've completed the installation uh, the antenna is right there you can see um, on the top over here so everything pretty much looks set pull back the steering column kit Nothing is open anymore, so now I'm gonna close the door and test again. See if this thing works. Alright, so now I'm gonna hold for a second. running picked it and everything is running fine no check engine light um, so this is the installation um, if you like this video 
please like it subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends i appreciate this and see you again some other time thank you